Cadm PVD, very intelligent, very easy. Cadm PVD, design equipment quickly with minimum inputs. In this demo, we will design a reaction vessel with an agitator shaft. This reaction vessel has a top and a bottom dished end. The jacketing is of a plain shell type, partially covering the main shell and extending onto the bottom dished end. It has an agitator with 20 HP power and an agitator shaft RPM of 100. All the components in contact with the internal process liquid are of SS316, and the jacketing is of SS304. To begin with, first select the submenu option, Reaction Vessel, available inside the top menu, Equipment. This will open up the Reaction Vessel Configuration dialog box. Fill in the relevant details in this dialog box. Please ensure that you select the appropriate power, RPM, duty factor and other inputs as indicated. If the internal liquid is of a watery type, then one can choose light or very light duty. In case the internal liquid is of a highly viscous or of a gummy type, then the duty factor should reflect this and the selection could be heavy duty or severe duty. Set the option prop to true. This will provide the shaft with a bush support at its bottom free end by changing the configuration of the shaft from a cantilever to a simply supported shaft. Since this vessel's axis is vertical, the dialogue's definitions, the front end and the rear end refer to the top end and the bottom end respectively. Set the front end flanged entry to true. This will ensure that the top dished end is connected to the shell through a body or a girth flange. Click on the dialog button, OK. The equipment will be added under a newly created project in the Project Explorer, with the equipment name, Reactor R101. Click on the entry, Reactor R101 and enter its dimensional details. The next step is to input the shell side design data information. Enter the shell side operating condition information. Next, enter the shell side design condition information.
We aren't adding any corrosion allowance in this case. Proceed to entering the jacket side design data information. Enter the jacket side operating condition information. Next, enter the jacket side design condition information. The next step is to apply the materials of construction for various components. We use a predefined material spec for this purpose. The materials of construction of the components which come in direct contact with the internal process liquid are of SS316, and the material of construction of the jacket is SS304. Let us change the flange material to forged SA182F316 and the gasket material to a spiral wound one. and change the type of the flange, from a plate ring type to a fabricated weld neck type, for the closure flange and shell flange objects. Similarly, you can now proceed to selecting the materials for the jacket side, the shell connections, jacket connections and the agitator system. Choose the material specs SS316, SS304 and SS316 for the shell connections, jacket connections and the agitator system respectively. At this stage, we are ready to go ahead and design the equipment. Click on the entry, Reactor R101. Select the sub-menu, Design Equipment, from the top menu, Design Model, to design the equipment. We are going to view the design report for the top dished end. Click on the sub-entry, Dished End Front. Generate its design report by selecting the sub-menu, Code Reports, from the top menu, Create Reports. Click on the shaft object and generate the report for it.
Check out the links in the comments and description for more videos. Thank you for watching.